Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheese 87 and this is Let's Play Tales of Asperia Part 22. In the previous video, we investigated what was going on in Heliord, learned that, yeah, uh, the knights are bad, and then we tried to chase after them, lost track. Now we're in, um, Capua Nor, no, Capua Tor, Nor, Tor, one of the two Capuas. We're about to go to the desert, but first we have to go to bed. The room is next door, right? I don't know, is it? Those popsicles are horrible! The tuna soda flavor is disgusting! It's soda flavored ice cream with tuna filling! Why would anyone sell anything like that? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, that sounds... ...terrible? Bro, how the fuck do I sleep in this game? I've talked to everyone! Do I talk to the innkeeper now? Will you let me sleep? Or are you gonna say you're... Okay, there we go. Because earlier they were like, well, your room's been paid for. I know. Tell Ready me how to, to sleep. Tell me how to do it. What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. No, nah, she's part of the squad. That sounds about right. <laughs> so, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Damn true. Huh? You mean... I'll ditch like four of you guys before we ditch Rita. Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy. Yeah, I... Um, you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Ah, to be young again, I tell ya. You got something you want to say? Whoa, down girl. To the harbor then. Reunited? We didn't reunite? We reunited? What the hell? The two barrier blastia of this city and Nor Harbor were originally a single blastia. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? Yes. Actually, there were three pieces. The last piece sunk in the sea between the two cities. I wonder if you could raise that blastia. And if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already done it if they could. Any idiot could come up with that idea. You don't have to be mean about it. Yeah, but like, there's a difference in coming up with the idea and actually doing it. I mean, the Empire's not that smart. Maybe we could figure out a, a cool new way to get it up from the bottom of the sea. I heard a voice in the old ruins in the forest. When I returned a little while ago, the voice was gone. I don't know. I don't know if that's something I should investigate or... That's like a, I don't know, man. Because on one hand, it's that seems like something that you could go investigate. On the other hand, I don't really know what he means by the ruins in the forest. So I could easily just run around and not find shit. I mean, there's some trees. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. But, giant enemy crab. But like, yeah, I mean, there's some... Oh, there's that. I mean, there's nothing really anything. Or I guess, or do you mean these ruins over here? Is this still a forest? I guess we could go pop by, even though this place is a hellhole that I despise with basically all of my being. Uh, I don't know why. I'd... It's an ambush! Because it's like, I know we awesome. can't run. I know we're slower than them. All right, who's next? As you're ready. Ah, that was too easy. Like, I know they're faster than us, but I still try and run away. Or are they just referring to, like, the shit that we were doing over here? I don't know. Which I really... Okay, here's what we'll do. Very quick, in and out. Unfortunately, the holy bottle's not really that useful here because... The turtles are too fucking fat. 
So like, what if I just run over here? Anybody in here? Because there was still that big monument thing that I thought was supposed to be important, but it actually wasn't important. I don't even remember how to get down to the thingy. You go forward and then it's like right here on your left. But unfortunately, somebody put a fucking turtle in the way. God. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll Sorry, pause and we'll go bye investigate. Bye. And if we don't find anything, we don't find anything. Oh, we did get a little thingy here. As that last battle was sure fast. I wish all battles were that easy. Easy? I don't, I don't know, know how I to get out. Much of anything. I'm stuck again. I wanted a little more action, you know? Oh, you're a fan of getting beaten to a pulp while struggling to beat some crazed giant monster? Ah, uh, don't put it like that, old man. It's not struggling, it's fun. So much fun. The best part about a battle is its raw challenge. It's raw challenge, huh? I kind of like the way that sounds. Ah, uh, sorry, but I'd prefer to avoid the hard-fought battles. They're rough on these old bones. But that makes it even more fun. How's that? That's for you to find out, old man. Unfortunately, the hard battles also last for 13 minutes, which is a little too long. How the hell do I get out of here? Okay, I'm going to make the executive decision that there ain't shit here. Because I want out. Fuck, I, how do I do it? Which one of these takes me out? No, this is, this is not the way. Wait, can you drop down? Can you like drop down like right here? No? Okay. Sorry, God. but you're going bye bye. Try it again. We're done. Okay. We lose, we're, we're learning all our damn skills or whatever, but like, I thought you could drop down like right here. I know you can drop down there. Nope. I just wanted to sneak right by you. Ooh, they look scary. No, 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 stop casting spells, stop. This is literally all your... I do think they should, like, not use abilities when you're trying to escape. I feel like that should be kind of obvious. I mean, in theory, you could, like, micromanage, swap over to a strategy where they don't do anything, but I shouldn't have to do that. It should be, like, very clear that I'm... Fuck you. From behind? Oh man. That when you're trying to escape, to you obviously don't want us. them to spend literally all. Why can't I run? Later. Like I wasn't hold, I wasn't hitting any buttons, and he just starts like slow walking, and I don't get it. Just let me out. This is probably one of the worst areas in like, at least in a modern JRPG. Don't get sloppy. That, that's not also the area isn't intentionally designed to be hell. I'm just getting started. I don't know, I don't even know when this game came out. Like what, late 2000s would be my guess. Maybe like 2010 at the latest. Or like around that year would be my guess. I don't know, I can't think of anything that's more annoying than this area. I mean, it's not the most annoying dungeon. That's, uh, that's Beelzebub's dungeon and Nocturne. But that area is designed to, you know, crush your spirit. How do I leave? <laughs> Everything looks the day of save, man. Okay, this way. All right, I did my due diligence. I tried to, I tried to sorcerer ring him. Oh, stop! No, stop! 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 No! Don't finish! Don't finish! Okay. Okay. We can pop a bottle. Fortunately, the bottles don't help in that area because it's all narrow corridors and the animations for activating the thing last so long your damn bottle wears off in two seconds 
I don't know. What was the dude even saying, by the way? I guess maybe he's just referencing the fact that when we were over there. I guess it's just referring to the monster having migrated away. But I don't know. Something about the dialogue just screamed to me. Hey, go investigate this thing real quick. This, that's a secret quest. Oh, Yoder. Oh, it's you all. We meet again. You don't sound too fucking happy, Yoder. So what's a successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? Yoder. I don't know. Not showing immense amount of joy at meeting us makes me think you're sus. I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our treaty of friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes. And now, prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions the Don gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes. Had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them, but... You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor. I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. Oh yeah, because you're the you're the council candidate. I was thinking that uh it was the opposite. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then it's easy. Just become Emperor. Or maybe I don't know. Because you would think whoever their candidate is would have a bit more influence over them. But I don't remember I think I don't remember if they said Estelle was the knight's candidate or the council candidate. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. I mean, all you have to do is be born in the right place. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial Treasure, Dane Nomos. Seems like kind of a dumb rule. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War, ten years ago. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an Emperor. Seems like a really dumb system of government, no offense. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Deinomos. Oh. Oh yeah, that is what he said. Also, Yuri, don't mention that. You're gonna make yourself look sus. What was that, Yuri? Nothing. Forget it, it's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an Imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Heliord. Ah. Huh. That is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so too. Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. <sighs> There's nothing quite like being lulled to sleep by the whispering of the waves. Nah, that sounds terrible. I need absolute silence to go to sleep. Against that many? You've got to be crazy! Oh, it's chickadee. I wouldn't do that even if I had nine lives. What's going on? Halt! If you won't do the work I've paid you for, then I want my money back. Add the indigo beasts to the blacklisted guilds. Yes, Madam President. Isn't that the woman we met at Dayton Hold? Yeah, that's her, all right. Well, why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. So? <laughs> hey, I just got an idea! What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. I mean, she could. She could also tell us to screw off. I think it's sort of awesome. There's a guild that specializes in running a coliseum. I mean, coliseums are cool. The president just took out a big shipment of items and was heading for Norda Polica. I gotta get this place cleaned up, and I don't want to do it alone. Think if I want to lend a hand? No? Okay, I guess I'll just keep standing outside the door then. 
and hope it just gets cleaned up by the time I have to go back in. What can my sweetheart be up to now? Ah, how my mind wanders to you at night. Oh, Larry, I just want to think where you might be now, or wonder what you might be thinking now. Where's Lady? Man, our fair in Stratos is in the shop right now getting a tune up, you know? I hate to be telling you, man, but we ain't launching no boats right now, but partner. Hello, may I have a boat? Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell. You've come at just the right time. I feel like there's a zero percent chance she would remember our name. Huh, I guess those wanted posters really do work. Okay, actually, yeah, that makes sense. Never mind. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other guardian guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that guardian guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Oh, well... <laughs> Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. You're all as guilty as I am. Hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so... See you around. Unless you could give me a boat. Wait, Yuri, what about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia! We have three members. That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. I mean, we can. We won't call it business, then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. Wolf. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. I mean, I hope it's payment. Um, well... All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Well, what a coinky dink. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. Literally. So, do we have a deal? Slap you upside the head for that, Carol. I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we used to get there. Really? The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. Oh, don't, don't shit talk her, all right? Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with the boat. I'll leave that to your imagination. You figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract then. Wolf. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. Uh, have we made our preparations? I believe so. Beater and back stuff. I don't know back stuff. I'm never gonna learn it. Cancellation with back stuff. I just think it's so funny. The one weapon I'm never gonna get access to again has the skill that 18 other skills are related to. Great game you guys made. May as well just give me back stuff as like an innate ability, but nah, fuck that. Did we ever get one of them marquee things? Uh, no symbols available. But like... How do you make a symbol be available? Cause I mean, they very vaguely said something about it at the start of the game. I don't even know what it would be called. Attributes. Hey, that's the skill symbol thing, but like, 
I don't know what you like do to make a skill symbol appear. I don't really, I don't really explain that. Okay, that's cool. I guess maybe we'll just eventually hope we get one. Because, I mean, they said it had to do with, like, with what I remember. It's like, depending on what skills you have turned on, but you would think we'd have unlocked one of them by now. This is on the one Theurgia. character. She'll be your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordopolica. And this man is Tokunaga of Gull's Song, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. I'm Tokunaga. Very nice to meet you. He's only on board for this voyage, so next time be sure to hire your own pilot. Uh... We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so I really appreciate the help. What is the ship's cargo? That's confidential information. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? It's not like little merman babies or anything, is it? Relax. We've got it covered. All right. Head towards Nordopolica. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor and you'll see the Desier Continent. Nordopolica is at the eastern edge. I hope you won't mind if I go over the Fiertia's controls for you. Oh, you're gonna make me drive? Oh no. You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. Well, I guess that answers my question about when we're getting our boat. You won't be able to get onto land where there are cliffs. Of course, the ship can't pass over rocks, but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. You might be able to take her into some rivers, if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off our mast. Okay. And that's about it. So it goes southwest. We're not, we're not really going southwest. Ah, this is so bad. We just started out and we're already working with one of the five master guilds. This is good. Yeah, you're one step closer to making your dream a reality, Carol. Aren't you happy? You talking to the kid? He's over there mumbling about something. Merman. The first thing had to be Merman. Brave Vesperia has some bad luck. What's the president of Fortune's Market gonna think of us if we fail? This is bad. This is so bad. I don't think he's very happy. He's just being careful, that's all. That's not being careful. That's running and hiding. She says hide from this, shoots a fireball at him. It'll be nice if we don't run into the merman, won't it? It'd also be nice if, I don't know, we found the dragon thing we're looking for. Hmm. Just right That's here. That's pretty wishful thinking. You're quite the pessimist for your age, girly. It'd also be pretty nice if we just found the legendary ancient treasure and got to become emperor. I'm just a realist. Anyway, thanks for your help. Looks like we're going to make it there on time. Yeah. Leviathan's Claw was going to beat us there if we hadn't found an escort for the ship. Leviathan's Claw, huh? That's a name I seem to be hearing a lot lately. That's a, that's a better name than ours. Oh? They're the guild that's specializing in sales of Hopeland Blastia. Oh, that explains the situation in Heliord. Lately, they've been trying to steal our clients from us. Isn't that called doing business? If we weren't able to cross the sea, they would have swiped up another one of our major customers. I mean, I don't know, calling it steal our clients, you're not entitled to them. Still, you can't help but wonder where those slime balls are getting their product from. Indeed. Hopeland Blastia isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to get one's hands on. You don't think the Empire is behind this? No, that couldn't be. It's mages that are supervising the Blastia distribution. Ah, right on time. Everyone, be careful! Look how the dude has an anchor earring. Uh, the world's spinning. I think I'm getting seasick. Oh, yeah. An anchor necklace, just so you really know that he's a damn sailor. Did that monster just say something? I'm gonna get spit up. That voice sounds familiar. Unfortunately. Well, well, aren't you a chatty monster? 
Hold still. I'll make this quick. There are a lot of them, sire. Dragon! Or Caprice, of innocent waters! Like this is just a game! All right. I'll blow you away. Dragon Sword. I'm okay. You're dead. Run through that. Divine Wolf. I mean, he's a tanky boy. Dragon Sword. I hit the button. Nothing happened. All right. Dragon Rage. Run through that. Sir, have you stopped guarding? Oh, flickering blaze burn. As you're right, you're gone. Get back here. You're not intellectual. You are pretty vicious. You're one to talk. Got a dang tuna. You're true to your reputation. I was right to bring you along. I tell you, Brave Vesperia doesn't have any shame in working an old man down to the bone. Even while I'm looking for Apatheia and doing all sorts of other things. Apatheia? Isn't that what you were looking for back in Nor Harbor? That's right. That's nothing but a fairy tale. I researched it a while back, but eventually I realized that there's simply no way it can theoretically exist. The words of someone who's going to be wrong? I'm well aware people think it's a fairy tale. Why are you looking for it? Well, because the Don told me to. It's still alive! We better stab it. I mean, I'll acknowledge the humor in the girl getting eaten by the merman. I'm not laughing, but I acknowledge the humor. Patty! Well, that was a pleasant voyage. Can you really call it a voyage when you're in a monster's belly? What are you doing all the way out here? I was hunting for treasure when I fell into the ocean, but a nice monster came to play with me. Oh, I'm glad you didn't become part of a complete breakfast. This is all well and good, but can we get the ship back on course? Yeah, sure. Ah! <laughs> so that wasn't all of them. I do think it's funny they use anchors as their weapon as well. But you really know they're sea monsters. <sighs> I've healed him, but he should still rest for a while. I guess well, it kind of makes sense, problem. though. I don't suppose any of you know how to pilot a ship. Should I rip the anchors off the ship or pick up ones that get left behind and use them as weapons? I can do it! Patty, you can? If you're gonna travel around the world, you'd better be able to at least pilot a ship. Then I'd like to ask you to be in charge of piloting this vessel. Why is everybody just taking the eight-year-old's words at face value? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, of course. We've made much better time than I thought. We could even afford to make a side trip or two. I'll leave the course up to you. I'm not letting the eight-year-old drive. With a ship, we can go practically anywhere we want. Estelle, I know you want to look for Pharaoh, but don't you think we have more important things to do for the moment? Like? Do you think? I'll do what I want. Don't worry about me. We just started our guild. We should err on the safe side, don't you think, Carol? Yeah. All right. And feel free to give me directions about our course. I don't really know where, where I can go. I'll make a value judgment. Can we pick up the damn tree? I don't know. I don't know why the map gets so transparent you can barely see it. Gotta like fucking squint. Try and see anything. Plus it's raining I can't see anything. The fog's gotten awfully thick. Yeah, it's creeping me out. Fog like this is usually a sign something bad's about to happen. N knock it off! Go ship. 
Talk like that long enough and something bad will happen. Hey, front! I mean bow! Hmm. We're going to hit them. <laughs> and we don't have to. See, this is why you shouldn't let the fucking eight-year-old drive the ship. Y'all are too anime-pilled. The big boat's what ours. What is that? Right, we're on the big boat. The ghost That's ship? an old ship. I've never seen that type before. It's called a ghost ship? I think it says... The Atherum. Oh, uh, that sank a hundred centuries ago! Is this the pirate lord that we've been hearing about? That would be my guess. Ah! That's weird. There's no sign of people. It, it's like... It's calling to us. No way! Come on! Get the fear tube going! Is that what our ship is called? Hmm. No can do. I don't know why, but the Ceres Blastia ain't responding at all. What do you mean? What the hell is wrong with it? You think this thing's the problem? Ooh, maybe it's a cursed ghost ship. Y you don't really think so, do you? I mean, obviously it is, Estelle. It, it ain't got no sails, yet somehow it's moving around. It's got to use the power of ghost energy. Why don't we go take a look? It'll be fun. I love this sort of thing. What? Well, we don't know what's wrong with the Blastia. We gotta go take a look. Are you planning on just leaving the Fiertia like this? Yeah, sure. All right, why don't four of us go investigate while the rest stay here and keep watch? That should be fine. Okay, so repeat and I'll go. <clears throat> and who's the third person? I'm not going, no way. Okay. Yuri, why don't you decide? Gotcha. Well, I guess Estelle and Jumpy Lady. You need to think about balance when splitting the party. Understand? This ship could also be attacked by monsters at any time. Okay. Definitely not you. Not Carol. Uh, no. Really? Hey, you want to come? You want uh, You want me to give you supplies for free? You're kidding. Oh, why did you die and become part of the ghost ship? Oh, because I was too much of a dumbass to give uh, the only people who could save me free resources, so then they died in combat. Idiots. How much money do we have? Can we have a little bit, but not a ton? What about you got you got new synthes stuff? Wait, it says it's better, but oh, we need more merman fangs. Avoids entering a battle from a link encounter. Our full HP upon successfully completing a fatal strike combo with a certain number of hits. Define certain number. Welcome to the squad. I'd like to. Oh, it's so exciting. You sure I can't take you? I have you? to fix this. Uh, I'm not scared or anything. All right, I'll go with you. Okay. Oh, I guess we're missing a spell. Okay, never mind. Oh. Yeah. I see. M me? I'll do my. Unfortunately, Estelle, you pretty much have to be at the party at all times, just for the sake of, uh, convenience. All of you be careful. We'll set off a smoke signal as soon as the Ceres Blastia is fixed. Thanks. I mean, maybe if Flynn becomes a permanent part of the party, he could be swapped in every once in a while, but... Do you think the others are all right? You should probably worry a little more about how we're doing. There's no telling what might happen on a boat this sketchy. You say that, but you sound like you're enjoying all this. Maybe that's why I don't feel all that scared myself. Oh man, this isn't going to be half as fun if you're not properly terrified. 
fun? Never mind. I mean, we are about to be attacked by a large bird. Don't get sloppy. Oh, flickering blaze burn! Fireball! Azure Red Dragon! Oh, shaking rage! Sir? Which block? You're gone! Dragon! Oh, brilliant angels, grant us your favor! Azure! All right, here we go! Yay! All right, we did it! He's like used to it now? That's yeah. funny. Trident? Well, unfortunately, Judith, repeat has taken your slot, so you're just gonna have to chill and wait. Take me up to the dang crow's nest. I don't know if I trust this rickety ass ladder. See a chest. But don't tell me there's nothing up here. You know how evil this is? Okay. I, mean, I don't know if it was necessarily worth it, but you can slide down, right? Any, any sliders? No. Any second now. We're gonna check out this way before we head down below deck. Ogre sword. Okay, that's the thing that we could have just made. Mm. We definitely want to learn combo plus. So we'll keep this equipped for a while. I was waiting for like a reflection to not be in one of them. Don't, don't mind us. We're just we're just vibing. So I guess they would be coming out of the, the mirror to attack you or something. Uh, up or down? Help. Uh. There, is there anything in here? Oh, these are chests. Oh no, they're not chests. Yuri! Yuri! They have invisible wall, Yuri! Okay, so they do come- okay, they do come out. But, like, we can't go in. Dragon Swarm! Oh, Caprice of Innocent Daughters! Wonderful! Whoa! Azure Wolf Strike! That's no good! Your splash, it missed. Repeat! Your tail? <laughs> One of these days, Estelle. One of these days. What the hell? Oh, there's like an invisible monster there. That's why it wouldn't let us pass through. Oh god, the damn... Crab's got swords. Oh, you're dusted? Oh, never mind. You just don't get to take any damage because of iframes? It's not very fair. That's over. That's the lot easier than. Okay, you learned medical boost. I can't remember. We actually have a replacement for you, or is it just we could replace it with something better? Yeah, I think there was a weapon that was a lot better, but we didn't bother to get it. Because your weapon doesn't really matter. 
I mean, you do have some skills that are attacky, but I don't really see the point in using them. Since you're the only healer in the game, really. Oh, yes, keep giving me uh, items Sorry, for people I don't have. Hey, Mr. Merman, we won't kill you if you give me your fang. That's what happens when I get serious. So that earth attack is Rita's thing, but I feel like it was damaging us during that last that fight in the last video. Or video before last, whenever it was. It was something I wanted to look at. And I have forgotten. I don't know. I guess it was the, the weapon we got, but that's not for us. Oh yeah, we're gonna want to use another holy bottle. Okay, so it's that they're there, they're just invisible. You're supposed to use the mirrors to see them. Because it seemed like it was like they were coming out of the mirror earlier, so I wasn't really sure. I'm kind of lost. Wait, did we... I mean, this looks like the way we came, but... Okay, this is the way we're supposed to go. Noise. Look at that! It's no good. It won't open. My treasure chest. It looks like we have no choice but to keep moving. Hurry! Let's keep on moving! A very evil trap card. They hit us with a classic, go left or go right. One of these advances the plot, one of these doesn't. You don't want to go the way that advances the plot? Yep, let's go. Instead they actually trapped us so we can't go back and explore? I we left behind is okay. It's kind of rude. So if there was any treasure chest, oh they're lost forever. What happened? I can't believe the mast would suddenly collapse like that. We're fine, but I hope Yuri and the others are okay. I'd be surprised if they came out of an impact like that without a few scratches. I think we've got to go and make sure they're okay. Is that okay? Mm. Now hold on just a second. Who will protect the ship while you're gone? I'm sorry, but by ourselves, we wouldn't be much help in protecting the ship anyway. Hey, I ain't the guild anyway. I don't have to look after your ship if I don't wanna. Will we be okay with just the three of us? Unless you wanted to give us a massive raise. You know, because you're kind of a captive audience, so if you really want to be protected, well, you might want to break out the pocketbook. Hmm. It's just business. That's where I come in. Weren't you told to stay put? Those words are powerless to put out the blazing fire that burns in an adventurer's heart. So, basically, you just want to explore the ship? Because the ship, it reeks of treasure. Uh, I don't smell anything. An adventurer's sense of smell is sharper than the teeth of a man-eating shark. Well, then you can come along. But if we find any treasure, we're splitting it up equally. 80, 20, and we've got a deal. Yes, I suppose we don't have a choice. Be sure to come back. I don't want to be adrift out here forever. It does feel a bit hopeless with just the two of us. Uh, don't say things like that. Talk about something more fun. Oops, uh, sorry. I mean, it's what you get for trying to charge us for healing items. If you hadn't charged us, maybe we would stay here and help you, but... A new page is added to the battle book? Wait. What the fuck is this shit? Uses the form change art. She'll randomly switch between four different battle forms. Is she fucking Dante? Patty is staggered or knocked down. She'll automatically refer back to her normal form to keep her current battle form. Be sure she is not getting knocked down. In some cases, the recover skill can prevent her getting knocked down. Normal form, a form of average ability. You'll have no trouble fighting this form. It lacks specialization of other forms. Advanced form, a form which specializes in close range combat. The attack speed and number of hits of hearts will be increased. Brainiac form, a form best suited for long range combat. In this form, you'll have an increased attack range. You can heal with arts like Risky Cast. Uh, when you use form change art, you'll perform a unique action for each battle form. 
uh, uh, change it to normal form, for example, fills the over limit. Uh, when Patty changes forms, her basic attacks will change in critical form. You can press B to uh, use the same attacks as an advanced form. What the fuck is critical form? How do I? Okay, so it's random. You have no choice. All right. Well, whatever. Who gets to be the main character? Uh, definitely Jumpy Lady. Um, I mean, I kind of want this. Well, it's not really good if you're the AI. Because you're never going to use burst arts. Add a jump in midair. Okay, that seems kind of cool. You... This is way better. Backstep. Do you even know how to backstep, my dude? Parameters increase according to the number of female allies in battle. Wait, what does parameters increase mean? I guess this is what all your stats are going up. Because I guess it's counting as being active right now. Maybe. I don't know. Magic defense. Who cares about magic defense? I guess we should put you on a... Uh... I don't know what any of these skills do. if anything happened to the others. We have to go save them. Uh, all right, let's do this. All right, let's get into a, well, can I run? Can I climb the mast? It looked like I was making a bridge. Oh, my holy bottle. It's gonna wear out by the time we get up here. Uh, uh. Don't mind me, just gonna sneak right by you. Don't mind me, just just sneaking. This has gotta be not the non-critical path, right? Right? I mean I wouldn't mind fighting a monster. I won't lose! Okay, what are your thing? Why does it say three player? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Help! Bro, you're so slow. Also, you don't hit the enemy. I mean, she's like slow as shit. A new skill under my belt. Like, I kind of figured she'd be like a fast attacker, but like she's sluggish as hell. <sighs> Thank goodness, you're okay. Hey, hey, you decided to come along for the ride too? And hey, why are you bringing along more people? We didn't exactly have a choice in the matter. I've come to see you, Yuri. Well, you certainly got guts, though that's nothing new. I've got more guts than a fish on the beach. I guarantee it. I know. If you didn't, you wouldn't have marched into that old geezer's mansion all by yourself. You mean Rago's palace? Is our ship going to be okay? Let's get out of here quickly. 
No, not Let's the behind that, I'd wager. old rickety door. We'll never be able to break through that. You gotta be kidding me. The ship's evil spirits are surely at the bottom of the ship, plotting to make us one of them. Don't make up stories like that. No way that's p possible. We'll just have to look for another way out. Right on. Let's go. Reunited. Okay, right, cool. See how much better it is when we're all together? It's times like these that give you a sense for how important cooperation really is. N yeah, I guess. The runt said something smart for once. Not that we've done anything all that cooperative yet. That's all right. Just being together makes this place less frightening. I wonder if it's really that simple. Ah! It's a four-legged hell beast! Ah! Oops, my bad. Must have just been the pooch's shadow. Oh, you are so dead! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you and leave you haunting the ship! Alright, well I'm glad we got a save here because I was kind of thinking it was about that time. Uh, I mean, it says you're the party leader, but... I'm gonna still put you guys in the main slots. No, they don't really need to repeat. I'd rather have Jumpy Lady. I mean, I don't know. She doesn't seem that slow when it's the AI, but she felt slow as hell when we were controlling her. Two consecutive three hit combos also recovers out of combos multiples of three, yeah. <laughs> exactly, I'm always saying that, man. And alright, we will just go ahead and call it here since we're right at the set. There, there's an invisible monster. You wanna fight? Okay, we'll fight you. And then we'll call it. You'll be gone soon enough. I don't know what's with the third player thing. Dragon Sword! Also, why are you... What are you doing, girly? Oh, you got changed to Simiato? That's why? Uh... Which also, for some reason, made you side Hell yeah, brother. My scarf. That'll defeat the enemies. Eh. Unlike. Alrighty, so we'll call it here. Next time, we will continue exploring the ghost ship. I'm Extra Cheese 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.